we have a very important rule which I told you rule of log changing the base. Now suppose I have a term log b to the base say e. Now I want to change the base to say c. Now I cannot just write that as log b to the base c because log b to the base c is not the same as log b to the base a as we have seen in the exponential process. Now how can we do it? You decide which base you want to see. So it's going to be log b. You want to change the base to c? c. But you also need to do one more thing upon log a to the base c. So log of the original power to the new base divided by log of the old base to the new base. In other words, if you see cross multiply also you get the same thing. Log m to the, so if you look at it, you draw the parallels over here. Log b to the base a into log a to the base c is nothing but log b to the base c. So if you see the same principle log m to the base a is equal to log m to the base b into log b to the base a. Similar kind of thing. So it is log of b to the base a is what is given to you. You want to change the base from a to c is going to be log b to the base c that is log of the old power b to the new base c divided by log of the old base to the new base. So both the in both the numerator and denominator, the base is the new base, and the numerator is the old power, and the denominator is the old base. Now, all these are just based on these. For example, we have um, uh, we are, even something like this. Say, suppose I want log a to the base 2. We can write this as, suppose I want to change the base to 10. I can write it as log of 8 to the base 10 divided by log of the old base to the new base. But as mentioned earlier, if the base is 10, we normally do not write the base. We can simplify this as log 8 upon log 2. So in other words, a new, just an offshoot of the rule, whenever you need to change the base to 10, you can just write log a by b, a to the base b is nothing but log a upon log b, provided the base is 10. So this is a simple change of base rule. Let us see how we can do this particular thing. For example, you have log 2 to the base 10. Right. So now this can be written as log 2 upon log 10 using this particular rule into this can be written as 2 log 10 to the base 4 because we are taking the power as a coefficient and log 8 to the base divided by log 8 to the base 4. So now we can write this as log 2 to the base upon log 10 into 2 log 10 upon log 4 divided by log 8 upon log 4. Now this alone, this is bound to get cancelled and we can further simplify it as 2 into log 2 upon log 4 into log 4 upon log 8. This again gets cancelled. Now this log, just to do away with the log 2, we can write log 8 as log of 2 cube. So then now this becomes 2 log 2 divided by 3 log 2. So what have we done here is that we have expressed everything in terms of 2. Since this 8 we have log 4 is bound to get cancelled. So now here this gets cancelled and finally what we get is 2 by 3. So this is how we can change the base as to log 2 by log 10 and here we can write it as 2 log 10 upon log 4 divided by log 8 to the base 4. So this becomes log 8 by log 4, this is log 10 by log 4, this 8 can be then written as 2 cube and hence we get this as 2 by 3. 
So this is the concept of changing the base. Often we'll come across usage of this particular rule like log 8 to the base 2. Can be written as log 8 upon log 2. Another way of writing this is remember you can even write this as 1 upon log 2 to the base 8. Remember how when the power and base interchange then we have got a reciprocal relationship as we did in the previous rules.